footprints. A letter and a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stain. Wyvern oil. following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Instructions on how to build a bomb. Signed by one Kalkstein. Sugar. And lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Extra. And Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelair was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menger. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Know you well enough to know what matters. Results. So I lied. Still say I can lead you to your treasure. Forgive me, Geralt, but after what you just pulled, I'd sooner believe a whore who proclaimed her undying love. Would you believe a sorceress who stands to gain if you get your coin back? Perhaps. I still prefer the whore, though. You're hiding something. 
And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menger will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never! Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Yes, Geralt? See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Place is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan Dwana Ar Ais. No, Carl, no! I I can explain everything. <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? 
So Coral enchanted him. Just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, Succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me. But it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Why are you even here? Same reason anyone comes here. Play a bit, have a good time. Invite only, mate. Shit out. I think you're about to let me in. By all means, please. And you, wish me luck. Luck be with you at the tables. Play one more time. I'll win it all back. You've no coin left, strike. I'll wait to my house. Who's All that? right. I'm here each day and I've not seen him. Leave me be. Another word out of you and I'll take you upstairs. Ah! The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Cards lining up today? Mutant? What the hell's a witcher doing here? See any drowned dead? Or other shitsheads around here? Nope, no monsters. Great opportunity to play some cards. Clever man, eh? All right, we're. I do. This tech. They've got the best powder in the city right here. Just wanna play. If you insist. I believe I will plow your ass like a cheap horse.
<laughs> Took a beating, lad, but come back with coin and you'll get a chance to win it back. The truth is, we're already defeated. Greetings. Don't know you, not letting you in, and don't you fucking stand there. Recognize this piece of paper? A uh, fight contract. Good, you can read. So who's this contract made out to? It says, uh, Zdenik. Made out to Zdenik. Mm-hmm. I'm Zdenik. Any more questions? <sighs> In you go. Don't you go wandering. Straight to Eagle now. Fair enough. Down the corridor to the left. Come on, get ready. Your turn now. I am ready. Um, don't know you get paid anything, but you <laughs> won't find it. Losers get carted off to the cemetery. See ya. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind keeps blowing and blowing. Remember our deal, right? I switched this sword for a rusty one. You need to hold on for a moment. I'll hold on a moment. And then, gut the arse. Moving crap proper.